Breaking, tragic news about Ben Carson just in, stop everything and do this for him right now. Most of us already know the rags to riches story of renowned surgeon Dr. Benjamin Carson. His background was given a thorough going over when he was running for president against President Trump, and there was never so much as even a discrepancy found. Carson didn't have anything to hide because he didn't have anything that he was ashamed of. Raised by a single mother in the bad part of town, with gang wars happening around him every day, he will tell you that parts of his childhood were dark. But the one single beacon, representing everything that was good and right hardworking was his mother. He credits her with everything that is good in his life because she refused to let him become a statistic. She made him work, and she made him read. The working helped him succeed, and the reading helped him write. Most of us already know the rags to riches story of renowned surgeon Dr. Benjamin Carson. His background was given a thorough going over when he was running for president against President Trump, and there was never so much as even a discrepancy found. Carson didn't have anything to hide because he didn't have anything that he was ashamed of. Raised by a single mother in the bad part of town, with gang wars happening around him every day, he will tell you that parts of his childhood were dark. But the one single beacon, representing everything that was good and right hardworking was his mother. He credits her with everything that is good in his life because she refused to let him become a statistic. She made him work, and she made him read. The working helped him succeed, and the reading helped him write. Yesterday, Carson wrote something, just for her. On Monday, Sonia Carson crossed over to the other side, and her son, know the world over for not only his intelligence but his work ethic and his wisdom, wrote this for his mother. If you have the time to read this, please remember his mother's legacy, and say a prayer for the family who loved her. Today, November 6, 2017, we lost my dear mother, Sonia Carson. Although she came from an impoverished background with very little formal education, she somehow understood how success was achieved in our society. If anyone had a reason to make excuses, it was her, but she absolutely refused to be a victim and would not permit us to develop the victim mentality either. Whenever we made an excuse, she quoted the poem Yourself to Blame. The poem is included in this post. May she rest in peace. Yourself to Blame by Mame White Miller If things go bad for you and make you a bit ashamed, often you will find out that you have yourself to blame. Swiftly we ran to mischief. And then the bad luck came. Why do we fault others? We have ourselves to blame. Whatever happens to us. Here is what we say. Had it not been for so and so. Things wouldn't have gone that way. And if you are short of friends. I'll tell you what to do. Make an examination. You'll find the faults in you. You are the captain of your ship. So agree with the same. If you travel downward, you have yourself to blame. We're all going to be remembered for something. Maybe it's what we do, maybe it's what we say, or maybe it's who we raise. If Sonia Carson was looking for something to hang her reputation on, I would say that she did a lovely job with her son Ben and his understanding of personal responsibility. She didn't have a lot to offer, monetarily. But there are things that don't cost money, reading and memorizing what you read are two of them. Another is taking the time to invest in your children. Carson has fond memories of his mother because she spent time with him, and not just doing whatever he wanted, she invested what was important in him, even if it made him mad, or her uncomfortable. She did the right thing for him, and it paid off. Here are just a few of Ben Carson's credits from his Facebook bio. In 2001, Dr. Carson was named by CNN and Time magazine as one of the nation's 24 most physicians and scientists. That same year, he was selected by the Library of Congress as one of 89 living legends. He is also the recipient of the 2006 Spingarn Medal which is the highest honor bestowed by the NAACP. In February, 2008, Dr. Carson was presented with the Ford's Theater Lincoln Medal by President Bush at the White House. In May 2008, Dr. Carson was the inaugural recipient of a professorship dedicated in his name when he became the Benjamin S. Carson, Sr., M.D. and Dr. Evelyn Spiro, 
RN Professor of Pediatric Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins College of Medicine. In June, 2008, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian honor in the land. Dr. Carson was recognized in November, 2008 by U.S. News & World Report and by Harvard's Center for Public Leadership as one of America's best leaders. On February 7, 2009, the award-winning movie entitled Gifted Hands, The Ben Carson Story, based on Dr. Carson's memoirs and starring Cuban Gooding Jr., premiered on TNT. Dr. Carson holds more than 60 honorary doctorate degrees and has received literally hundreds of awards and citations. He is a member of the Alpha Omega Alpha Honor Medical Society, the Institute of Medicine, National Academy of Science, the Horatio Alger Society of Distinguished Americans, and many other organizations. He sits on the board of directors of numerous entities, including Kellogg Company, Costco Wholesale Corporation, the Academy of Achievement, and is an Emeritus Fellow of the Yale Corporation, the governing body of Yale University. He was appointed in 2004 by President George W. Bush to serve on the President's Council on Bioethics. He is a highly regarded speaker who has addressed various audiences from schools and civic groups to corporations, and has spoken twice during the President's National Prayer Breakfast, in 1997 and again in 2013. Dr. Carson's first four books, Gifted Hands, Think Big, The Big Picture and Take the Risk, Learning to Identify, Choose and Live with Acceptable Risk, January, 2008, provide inspiration and insight for leading a successful life, a fifth book, America the Beautiful, Rediscovering What Made This Nation Great, was released in early 2012 and made the New York Times bestseller list in 2013. His sixth book, One Nation. What We Can All Do to Save America's Future was released on May 20, 2014 and is also made the New York Times bestseller list. Sonia Carson did her job well. May she now rest in peace. In peace.